Hello everybody, it's your number one KUKA user here, Carl. Today, I have a quick KUKA basics video showing you how to switch the Axis 6 of your KUKA robot from linear, which is usually limited with the software limit switch between minus 350 to 350 degrees to an endless or infinite axis, allowing it to spin indefinitely. First, a short warning that this is highly dependent on your setup. And if your robot has anything attached to it, like an umbilical cable on A6, then it may be unsafe to use an endless axis here. So here I am in KSS, and in order to tell your robot that you're gonna be working with an infinite A6, first you wanna log in as at least an expert. If you come to your main menu, machine configuration, now, if you're on a newer version of KSS here, I think I'm uh, 8.6, you can simply come down the bottom. You've got A6 properties of the axis and you can switch to endless. Save. And you've told your robot that it's safe to roll up and down past that software limit switch. Or if you're in an older version of KSS, you might actually just have to drop down to your A6 and you can find it here. Or alternatively, which I find to be a little bit quicker, is if you just come into your R1 Marta machine.dat, open that up, you can see that each axis is represented here and you've got a little comment by Kuka telling you which one is which. So axis six at the moment is set to five, which we can see is endless. And if we want to switch it back to uh, just rotary, so I change it to three and close out. And we can see back in our machine configuration that it's updated there as well, because that's where it pulls the data from. Now that we've updated axis six to be an endless axis, we can see that under main menu display actual position, where I'm on the axis actual position, we can see that the A6 data is updated. So instead of showing just the linear graph and the position between our two software limit switches, we have the axis position. And if we rotate axis six of the robot, we can see the diagram update and how many rotations axis six has actually done. So currently, it is done three full rotations and the position of axis six is in the minus 101.57 and this is the total. So if we keep going up, we can keep rotating axis six indefinitely.